Blocked growth by day. Hi all. With you oyster mushroom expert. Today I will tell you how to grow an oyster mushroom block and how to tell when mycelium is fully colonized. If you photograph the block every day, you will not see a significant difference between the second and fourth day for example. It is important for us to see the difference in mycelium growth by stages. Let's take a look at what happens to mushroom blocks during the first, second, and third weeks of the incubation period. I will show you photos. First, the mycelium actively colonizes the plant mass, the substrate. This process is accompanied by the release of heat. This stage lasts from the first to the eighth, the tenth day. The first day after inoculation, a fluff appears on the grain from spawn. The next day, mycelial hyphae begin to colonize the husk or straw. Many mushroom growers refer to this as the star stage. They are not always as beautiful as in this photo, where they are clearly visible. On straw substrates, they are more difficult to notice, but sometimes they are clearly visible. In this photo we see thin white cobwebs, these are hyphae growing in different directions. Then they grow and connect with each other. And we see that the substrate changes color. It becomes pale white, but the straw or husk is still visible through the white hyphae of the mycelium. This occurs from the 7th to the 9th day and depends on the oyster mushroom strain. And then the substrate turns white sharply. The temperature inside it drops to 24 to 26 degrees Celsius. This can happen on the 11th or 13th day, since this process depends on the strain and on the temperature in the incubator. If the temperature is not 22, but 20 degrees, the substrate may turn white on the 15th day. On some strains that develop very quickly, this happens on the 10th or 11th day. For example, on strains of pulmonaries. Look at this photo, there are two batches here taken on different days. In the foreground, the substrate is completely white. The differences in the color of the blocks are clearly visible. Grain mycelium during inoculation must be thoroughly mixed. The better the mycelium is mixed in the substrate, the more growth plates are formed and the faster the colonization of the substrate by oyster mushroom mycelium. This image clearly shows that the stars are evenly scattered over the entire surface, that is, the mycelium with sunflower husks was thoroughly mixed. If the mycelium has accumulated all in one place, as in this photo, this area will grow faster. But where there are no grains, spores of mold or bacteria begin to germinate. There is such a spot of non-growth. It is clearly visible on the sixth, seventh day from inoculation. After a few days, a green spot of mold appears there, or a yellow or brown liquid collects, often with a very unpleasant odor. This means that bacteria have become active and multiplied there. These spots should not be confused with such drops of liquid. These droplets are light, they are not dangerous and are often absorbed by the substrate. That is, these drops are no longer there after the complete colonization of the mycelium. There is only one exception. If you make a substrate from cotton waste, in Turkey it is called pamuk, the mycelium is poured in layers between the film and the substrate. The substrate from those cotton wastes that look like cotton wool is heated up to 40 to 43 degrees. In my video about block overheating, I talk about this in detail. Now I will talk in detail about the second week of incubation. The substrate begins to change color and becomes whitish from the 6th to the 8th day. In the second week of incubation, many new young hyphae grow, which penetrate and feed on straw or sunflower husks. If the bag is carried at this time, or it accidentally falls, the growth of the mycelium may stop. Look, this is what the block looks like in the second week of development. We cut it across. Let's see what we saw there. We see that the substrate is absolutely evenly overgrown with mycelium throughout the thickness of the block. There is no difference between the outer layer and the center of the block. This means that all climate conditions in the incubator were met. 
At this time, it is necessary to carefully control the heating in the center of the block. The most active growth is accompanied by heat release. Overheating of the mushroom block does not appear outwardly in any way at the beginning. Therefore, you must monitor the temperature in the center of the block with a stick thermometer or a thermocouple sensor. The maximum temperature in the center of the mushroom block should not exceed 31 to 33 degrees. A short-term increase is acceptable, no more than 8 to 10 hours, up to 36 degrees, as there is a video about overheating of blocks. In that video, I talk about the death of mycelium. Links to the video are in the description below this video. After a few days of heating, the temperature in the center of the bag stabilizes. The substrate is compacted, its color becomes saturated. The temperature begins to decrease and reaches the plateau stage, remaining 3 to 4 degrees higher than in the room. Third week of incubation. On the 12th 14th day, the straw substrate becomes completely white. What does fully colonized substrate look like? You see in this photo. After another one or two days, a pronounced white halo appears near the perforation, and then hyphae fluff appears on the slot. Of these, in a few days, the rudiments of fungal bodies are formed. This is called primordium. This ends the incubation period. Remember, do not splash water into holes either before or after the appearance of primordia. Otherwise, instead of primordia, you will get such a white mass. The size of the primordia depends to some extent on the type and size of the slit. But it should be a dense white spherical growth with pronounced dots, the beginnings of fungi. I plan to make a separate video about primordia. Subscribe to notifications and stay tuned for announcements.